chefs at the National dedicate a lot of time to preparing their Mediterranean-inspired foods. But this Athens restaurant makes sure that the food serves a purpose after leaving the plate. Um, so not only food scraps, but our um, to-go materials are all compostable. We put our, our dinner menus that are dirty, our greasy boxes, we can put them in there. The athens Clark County Solid Waste Department picks up these materials through their Food Scraps Collection Program, which collects compost from local businesses and organizations. But the county also offers six drop-off sites for residents to leave any compostable material. So we're here at the Food Scraps drop-off site at the athens Clark County Charm. Uh, and this is one of six locations around the community where residents can bring their food scraps somebody missed with an eggshell here but they can put all their uh, like orange peels maybe some mango a lot of coffee grounds that's pretty typical another thing that's typical is the type of donations that composting sites receive around this time of year according to the World Economic Forum Americans throw over 900,000 metric tons of pumpkins every year and the majority of those end up in a landfill now, this pumpkin patch does encourage users to compost their pumpkins, but that doesn't change the fact that the majority of them will rot in landfills long after Halloween is over. But it's, it's a pretty common misconception that a landfill is just like an open pit and it's thing, everything rots in there. Landfill is pretty closely managed and it's, things don't rot in there the way you might think. Food rot produces methane, which concerns climate scientists because of its high potency and ability to trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. The Institute for Local Self-Reliance, an environmental nonprofit, estimates that half of the trash at curbside pickup is compostable. In Athens, Dunlop encourages residents to use compost services, recycling pickup, and the Center for Hard to Recycle Materials to keep items out of the trash. If you fully take advantage of all three of those avenues, there's not a whole lot left that really has to go to the landfill. Uh, you can divert a tremendous amount of material. Sarah Evans, Grady News Source.